So in this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the big advantages of these development boards, like the ESP8266. Basically, it comes with these pins that we can use to connect some devices. These devices could be output devices, like an LED, so that we can turn it on and off. And the second option is to use the pin as an input. Normally, we use it for sensors. For example, we can check if we have an obstacle. Also, we have uh, the gas sensor that we use to check for gas leaking. I'm going to show you how to use the pins in these two modes as an output to turn the LED on and off. For that, you will need this red LED, as well as an ohm resistor, like a 220 ohm resistor or 300. Of course, to connect these components, we're going to use the breadboard and few jumper wires. But before that, let's take a look at the pins using this pin out diagram. As you can see, these pins are labeled like D0, D1, D stands for digital, which means 1 or 0. If we use this pin as an output, we can output a voltage using 1 or set it to 0 volts using the value 0. The same thing applies for sensors. We can read 1 or 0. Inside the code, we can reference these pins using the notation D1 or D2, or you could use the number of the pin, like the GPIO pin number 5, Next, we have few pins that are labeled 3.3 volts or G and E. Normally, we use these pins to power up some sensors. On the top left corner, we have a pin that is labeled A0. So A stands for analog. That could be 2.5 volts if we have 15% of the gas. Last but not least, I want to talk about these two pins. This is called the VN, which we use to power up our ESP8266. For example, we can bring this 9 volt battery and connected the VCC, which is the positive lead, to the VN, and the GND to the GND to power it up. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to connect the positive lead directly to the VN, and the GND to the GND. You see, we can power it up. First of all, let me show you how to use the first mode, which is called the output mode, to turn on and off the LED. For example, let's use the digital pin D2, or it is the GPIO pin number 4. To do that, I want to mount the ESP8266 on the breadboard like that. And let's take one of these jumper wires. As I said, I'm going to use the pin D2. And let's connect the other side to this point. Then to connect the cathode pin or the positive lead, we have to put it in the same column. If you don't know how the breadboard works, basically all of the points in the same column are connected, like these two points, so that we can connect the positive lead to the digital pin number 2. And you notice that we have this line because all of the points on the top side are separated from the bottom side. Finally, I want to connect the negative lead or the anode pin to the ohm resistor. And the other side will go back to the ground using one of the G and D pins like this one that is labeled G. We have to put it in the same column. Finally, we can connect the USB cable so that we can program our board. First of all, we have to tell our ESP8266 that we want to use this pin as an output so that we can control the LED. And to do that, we have to use the pin mode function or command under the setup function, which is called once. By writing the command pin mode, this takes in two parameters. The first one is the pin number. And the second parameter is the mode. This could be output. And all of the letters are uppercase. Later on, we're going to use the keyword input for the sensor. And at the end of each command or instruction, we have to add a semicolon. Now to turn the LED on, we have the command digital write. The same thing, it takes two parameters, the pin that we want to control and a digital value, which could be 1 or 0. 0 means 0 volts to turn the LED off and 1 means 3.3 volts to turn it on. But I recommend you to use other keywords, like the high keyword, which means a voltage. Now let's give it a try, after selecting the right board and the port of the USB cable. And let's hit upload. And yep, the LED turns on. Let's try the other keyword, which is called low or zero volts. And hit upload again. And the LED turns off. Last but not least, I want to make the blink sketch that we have talked about in the first video, but we are going to make it from scratch. Basically, we will use the loop function, which is called over and over again. And each time, 
we can turn the LED on using the same command digital right and I'm gonna use high to turn it on then we wait a bit like for one second using a command which is called delay this takes the number of milliseconds like 1000 milliseconds which means one sec then we turn it off using digital right low and we wait for one second again because we have all of these lines of code inside the loop which is called over and over again we will have a blinking LED and there you go the LED is blinking each second finally we can talk about the other mode which is called the input mode which we use with sensors like this obstacle avoiding sensor so let's take a look at these pins here we have the VCC and the GND we are going to connect these to the 3.3 volts and the GND of the board to power up the sensor and finally we have the output pin which outputs a voltage according whether we have an obstacle or not we have to hook it up to one of the digital pins then we can use a digital read command to read the voltage if we get one that means we have an obstacle and if we read zero it means that nothing in front of it but there is another version of this sensor that works oppositely if there is no obstacle in front of it we read one or a voltage otherwise we get zero so let's double check I'm gonna hook it up to the breadboard and start by connecting the VCC to the 3.3 volts like this one and the GND goes to the GND you could use one of these points because they are connected to the ground and there you go it is powered up now if I put my hand in front of it the other LED turns on otherwise it turns off that means our sensor is working but we are going to get this value from the other pin let's connect it to one of the digital pins like the digital pin number 1 or D1 first I'm gonna go under the setup function so that we can add the pin mode this takes the pin like D1 and the input keyword because we have a sensor under our loop function we are going to read the value of the sensor using the digital read command if we get the value 0 we're gonna use the blink sketch otherwise we are going to turn it off so I'm gonna cut it using Control X then we can use if to check for something so if digital read this takes in the pin number which is D1 and it returns a value that could be 1 or 0 if we have the value 0 using equal 0 in such case we're gonna turn the LED on and off otherwise we are going to turn it off using else which means if we get the value 1 I'm gonna use this to write and the low keyword which means off then hit upload at this point the LED is off and if I put my hand you see it is blinking so if we have an obstacle we get the value 0 otherwise we get the value 1 that's why the LED is off so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment about this video make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one